Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi's journey from religious scholar to jihadist leader started back in the early days of the American occupation. As the U.S. Army conducted mass sweeps of the Sunni population, Baghdadi was put into an American prison. For a number of people who'd spent time in these jails, they spoke about them as jihadi training camps. So through being in jail together, people created new networks. They were known as jihadi universities. It's there Baghdadi learned the methods of ISIS founder, Abu Musa al-Zarqawi. He is able to network with other committed jihadists, capable jihadists that were attached to major organizations like Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And he begins to network with these men, uh, many of whom uh, he would rise with through the ranks of Al-Qaeda in Iraq, later the Islamic State. After his release, Baghdadi moved up inside Zarqawi's organization. He very wisely played up the idea that his tribe had direct links to the Prophet Muhammad. And this was very important for establishing his legitimacy as a leader. In audio recordings, Baghdadi would use his religious authority to justify acts of terror. And after Zarqawi's death, it was Baghdadi who eventually seized control. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was much more assertive and much cleverer and much more ruthless than anyone had thought, and so was able to eliminate rivals, was able to get success, and success, of course, is a great attractor of support. As the group's new leader, Baghdadi worked to rebuild and in keeping with Zarqawi's strategy, he looked for a state in chaos to exploit. He saw one across the border in Syria. Civil unrest was breaking out. It was an ideal set of circumstances for Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi to capitalize on Protests against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad had been met with force. There were peaceful demonstrations. These were put down violently, and that then sparked this cycle of violence. As the unrest grew, Baghdadi secretly sent agents into Syria to help fuel civil war. He wanted to establish the, the caliphate now. He wanted to take over towns, villages, and then cities. The border between Iraq and Syria could disappear if his organization controlled both sides of the border. In Damascus, Baghdadi's men used the bloody methods of Zarqawi's insurgency to announce their presence. 